Now that we have some understanding of PHP, let's try and apply this knowledge to a real life project. What we are going to be working on in this chapter is a simple website with some navigation. When we click on the navigation item, the button highlights. Uh, to do this, we are going to be using some PHP behind the scenes. Then we are going to have a slider with some images which fade through again behind the scenes to pre-populate the list of uh, images we are going to be using PHP array as well. Then we have some content and a copyright notice in a footer, which displays the date again for the date we are going to be using PHP. If we go up to the top and try the navigation, the about us page is just a page with the content. The same goes for the products page. But when we get to the contact us page, you'll see we have here the inquiry form and the inquiry form will have an option to select the department plus some other fields. You will be able to specify as many fields as you obviously need for your project. Then if we hit on the send message button without actually uh, filling in any information, you'll see we'll display nice validation for the form as well. So form will not be submitted unless the right information has been provided. Uh, once we filled in the form and submitted the, uh, uh, the form using the send message button, uh, then the message will be sent to the designated email address using the mail uh, function, which we've discussed earlier. Now, feel free to use any sort of styling uh, that you want for your website. But if you would like to use the one that I have with this exercise, navigate to the github.com forward slash SSD hyphen tutorials. And in a filters field, if you start typing PHP hyphen from the ground up, there we go from the ground up fundamentals. If you click on this one, you'll find the download zip button there. So you can actually download the exercise file. So if we click on that one, this will download the files to my downloads folder. So if I quickly check uh, the directories, there we go. That's the file we've just downloaded. If we uh, double click it to unzip it. And uh, the things that we actually need uh, from all this lot uh, is this template.html and assets uh, folder with all these CSS files and uh, JavaScript files and so on. So if I just go to my desktop in the other file browser and just drag this to across, there we go. If we now navigate back to our editor, there we go, assets and template is ready. We are now ready to move to the next video.